Harvey Wanda McCresenthal with you on this uh, Wednesday. Hope everybody's having a great week, folks. I'll tell you what, I'm starting to see the roots of my hair. I just can't stand it. I get a call here by Hannah. Let's see if she's there now. Hey, oh, oh boy, it's too early for her. Give her some time. I'm going to call here by Hannah and get some more blonde out of this mess. What do you think? Here by Hannah, Washington Street, Newton. Check her out. She's awesome. All right, it's Robert number two's birthday today. Happy birthday, darling. You look marvelous. Sports last night, the Red Sox, they lost. Just not good, not good at all. I'm not liking this at all. Now, tonight is Wednesday night. Join the Jethro Mills, grabbing the mic, karaoke fun at Chopper's Cafe in Waltham at 9 o'clock. Come on down and sing some tunes, would you? All right, here we go. Weather time. Let's do it to it, as they say. Weather headline, watch for showers, storms firing up today. Some could be heavy in some towns. A hot Thursday, maybe a thunderstorm. Much cooler, drier weather comes in for Friday. A nice weekend, a beautiful weekend. You will love it. Love it to pieces. I love those Mises to pieces. Variable clouds today. Some sun, scattered showers and storms. It'll be hot and buggy if we see a lot of sun. It goes in the middle and upper 80s. And then there could be severe weather in this entire yellow zone today, outlined by the National Weather Service. We'll be following that potential for you. Of course, we'll be around, and we shall keep you posted. The high temperatures today, uh, this is off the computer model, obviously, 88 in Boston, 84 around Taunton, 83 in Providence, 87 in Worcester. Notice the kink in the, um, in the temperature lines here. It was just like this. See, it, it seems to be a warm frontal zone that's tagged just to the north of us. It should be, I know, it should be in red, but I'm making it in blue. Okay, so there's a warm front in this position. 70s in northern New England, some scattered showers and storms moving through there this morning. And the Cape should be in the 70s and low 80s with sun and clouds as well. Hot, steamy air goes all the way down to New York City. And these lines here are called um, isotherms. That's what I'm trying to draw, some isotherms here. But this is actually the wind flow. So don't get people confused. The black lines are the air pressure, which is showing you how the wind is blowing, okay? But if we were to do the dot-to-dot with the actual air temperature, there would be isotherms, okay? I'm confusing myself. So here's the deal. On the weather map for today, we have this warm frontal zone, which is stretched just like this, coming across central New England. There's a cold front that's a line from eastern Canada, Quebec, back into the Great Lakes. This frontal zone will be swinging through here by tomorrow afternoon with cooler, drier weather slated to come in on Friday. As a matter of fact, as we look at the weather map on Friday, the cold front's offshore, but early in the day, it could be raining from around Plymouth to Cape Cod. When you wake up Friday morning, it could be raining. Don't bum out. This will move offshore during the day. Big high pressure builds in, and it's going to be high pressure, which is going to be with us all weekend long. Okay, Saturday, let's do the five-day forecast. It goes like this. And we're talking about tomorrow. Partly cloudy, hot, buggy, low 90s, maybe a thunderstorm. Friday, sun filled with the clouds, low 80s, much drier. Saturday, sun filled with the clouds, breezy, 82. Very little wind on Sunday, a lot of sun, 83. Cooler at the coast. Monday, lots of sun, 85. Cooler at the coast, and it may be turning wet before next week is over. The tropics are going to start to heat up as well. Maybe later on this morning or this afternoon, we'll come back again. We'll talk about tropical storm Chantal. How about that? That's my forecast. Thanks for checking in. Please stay tuned for updates. I'm Mark Rosenthal.